KNDY. And a good evening and welcome to Clay Center Community High School, the Tigers Den, they call it, as the Clay Center Tigers entertain the Marysville Bulldogs. It's North Central Kansas League play. I'm Bruce Gierking, and the Lady Bulldogs tip off in the opener. Boys action to follow tonight. Both games live on AM 1570, FM 94.1. On our website, KNDYradio.com, and the Sunflower State Radio website, and on our free mobile app as well, just reference. Tiger Pep Band warming up as the crowd still filing in, and we'll come back, take a look at tonight's first matchup, Marysville at Clay Center. Girls action live on KNDY. Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family-owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company, since 1947. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. And again, welcome back. A second meeting between these two league rivals this season. Back on the 9th of December, it was North Central Kansas League opener. Max Blasky had the call at the Marysville Junior Senior High Activity Center as Marysville led 8-6, to 10-1. to one. They were up 21-14 at the half. Led 24-16 at the end of three quarters, but got beat 32-24. Marysville was held to three points in the second half. Clay Center scored two points in the third quarter, but rallied for 16 in the fourth and turned the table 32-24 on MHS. Marysville under first-year coach Ben Wurtenberger. His comments as I talked to him earlier, we've got to score baskets. When we struggle offensively, we turn that ball over, and it's a nasty combination. I mentioned to him consistency has been a great challenge for this team. They can be giant killers on a given night, and the next night just roll over. Marysville comes in 5-12, and 4-3. and three. They're third in the NCKL. Behind Clay Center, 9-7, and a seven. they're 4-2. and two. Behind Walmigo leading the North Central Kansas League. We'll come back with the starting lineups as our pregame show continues after this. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express High. Highway, Marysville, today. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. And the starting lineups for Marysville, Bella Raider is a 5'6 junior, Bryn O'Neill a 5'5 senior, Haley Ingalls a 5'10 junior, Maddie Capps a 5'7 senior, and Lindsey Dressman a 5'8 sophomore. For Clay Center, Mackenzie Weller is a 5'2 senior, Haley Bent a 5'6 senior, Morgan Wright a 5'6 senior, Regan McDonald a 5'11 sophomore, and Danny Carson a 5'4 senior. Marysville under head coach Ben Wurtenberger. Clay Center head coach is Dalton Heist. Marysville 5 and 12, 4 and 3 in the league. Starts two seniors, two juniors, and a sophomore. Clay Center 9 and 7, 4 and 2 in the league. Start four seniors and a sophomore. 
Marysville lost uh, their last outings this past week. At Centralia, lost a 47-37 decision Monday. Fell to Rock Creek, hosting the Lady Mustangs on Tuesday, 46-34. Play center to Heaty Republic County, their last time out on Tuesday, 52-34. And Clay Center took the last meeting between these two, 32-24. We are set for tip-off next. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend crop system and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state. Always read and follow pesticide label directions. Haley Engels, Reagan McDonald, tipping at center court, taken by the Lady Tigers, right to left. And we're underway with the first of our doubleheader tonight. Glad to have you tuned in on air online and on our mobile app. Weller, Bent, Wright, McDonald, and Carson, the starting five. Mackenzie Weller driving baseline, was forced out of bounds. Tigers retain possession. Inbounds underneath to Megan Wright. Shot missed. Bulldogs with the board. Bring it left to right on their first possession. Bella Raider, Bryn O'Neill, Haley Ingles, Maddie Cap, and Lindsey Dressman. Here's O'Neill, right side to baseline, double team. Dressman off the near side wing, takes it across the lane. Long layup missing by Dressman. Chipped out of bounds to the Bulldogs. Opposite our broadcast tonight, Max Blasky on the air momentarily. Washington County at Axtell and Twin Valley League play on FM 95.5. Well, Tiger basketball, the inbounds to Haley Bent. Beats the press, drives it down the floor for the opening layup. To lead scoring here tonight, it's a 2 0 play center lead. Haley Ingles near the lane, shot missed from 10, doesn't fall. Bryn O'Neill fights in the corner for the rebound. Alongside play setters Megan Wright, who winds up taking possession. After some effort, I might add. Man-to-man D. Mackenzie Weller drives the lane, split defenders. Getting past Raider and Dressman, Ingles would knock that ball down and take it away. Jump ball, whistle. All right, we'll bring it back then. Bulldog possession either way. It's on the alternate this way. Opening minutes. Girls action here tonight. Cap and Raider off the near side. Bella to the free throw line. Finds Ingles in traffic inside. She's handcuffed. Has the ball swiped by Reagan McDonald. Ingles reaching back in, draws the foul whistle, her first. Girls junior varsity game took a while to finish. They walked in with about three minutes left. It took about 15 minutes to finish that one. Went to play center by one. Bulldogs had a chance at a tying free throw with like 20 seconds left, but fell by one. Right, top of the key to McDonald. Coming off the far side, Lindsey Dressman swipes the ball away. Dressman coming against defenders, lost control of her dribble, tumbles in the corner. Another Clay Center Tiger diving, tips it to a teammate, and it's Clay Center basketball. Ugly. Bent to Weller in the far corner, missing on a high arch shot. Tracked down on the near baseline by Megan Wright. Forced out of bounds, Bulldog possession. Trailing 2 0. We're just at two and a half minutes in. Dressman, far side to Ingalls, coming off the baseline. Has the ball swiped away by McKenzie Weller. Tigers with a handful of steals already. Carson on the far side. Weller brings it back. Now Tom McDonald for three. Missing. Dressman down with the defensive board. 
Bulldogs yet to score. Double team coverage on Cap in the near side corner. Dressman off the wing. Takes it around far side to O'Neill. Ingles down low. Underneath, beat Reagan McDonald. Haley Ingles gets the Bulldogs' first basket. It's a 2 nothing lead. I'm sorry, a 2-2 two -two tie. 2-2 two -two tie with four and a half and counting in the first. Far side to Weller, dribbles once. Plays in the far side corner. Carson brings it out. Weller again, look in the lane, nothing doing. Three Tigers out top of the key. Other two starters are in the deep corners. The pass over to Danny Carson was flipped away. Substitutions coming in. Caden Spurgeon is a junior reserve. Casey Rush, a freshman for Marysville. Emma Fitzenmeyer is a junior checking in for Clay Setter. Along with Madison McCann, a junior. Early subs, middle of the first, two all tie. See a black jerseys in the lane. Bulldogs stay inside the arc. From the near side corner, Fitzenmeyer. Two deep underneath, ball taken away by Brent O'Neill. Bulldogs for the lead. Long pass to Cap, near side. Cross the lane to O'Neill. Back out front to Bella Raider, missing a three. Rattle the cage, wouldn't fall. Madison McCann, her first board. Still tied at two, we're down to three and a half minutes. Crossing, Fitz and Meyer, Weller, near side corner to Bent. Haley Bent for three. Bent has both scores for Clay Center. Leading 5-2 with 3.15 to go. Raider, the point guard. Far side to cap. Dribbles once. O'Neal off the left wing. Raiders pass in the forecourt taken by Haley Bent. Bent ahead of Raider. Layup is good on the conversion. Haley Bent has all three. Play setter scores. Leading 7-2 with 2.48 remaining. Court pass at center circle. Top of the Tiger Paw. Rush brings it down. Raider far side to Cap. Inside to Casey Spurgeon. Turnaround's good for Caden Spurgeon. Bulldog second scores off the bench, and it's 7 4 Tigers. 220 plays in the first. Fitzen Meyer, far side pass, got away from Mac McCann, tracked it down on the baseline and plays it cross court. In the paint to McCann, turnaround shot, missed, rebound. Caden Spurgeon did a nice job staying in front of McCann on the shot. Bulldogs down three. Pass to Ingles near the lane. She sees pressure, night in, night out. Three defenders sandwiched between two of those. She is fouled by Danny Carson. It's her first. Starter Lindsey Dressman's back in the Bulldog lineup for Cap. Dalton Heist sends a couple of other Lady Tigers in. He was very disgusted during uh, starting lineup announcements when coached their volunteers. Dressman, long left-handed layup missing. Rebounds down to the Tigers. I don't know the book or the announcer didn't have it quite right and Heist got a really disgusted look and came over and glared at the public address announcer who like I say is likely a volunteer it's okay it's okay Tigers with a three point advantage quick passes going far side now cross court coming to Bent three point shots up and good through the rafters Haley Bent her fourth score, two of four trays, and it's a 10 4 advantage. Haley Bent's got 10. Drop down low to Casey Rush. Turn around for the freshman, doesn't fall. Bent steps out of bounds baseline. Here's Ingles back in the Bulldog lineup along with Caps. 
Just under a minute remains in the first. Kinsey Weller, a starter for the Tigers, checks back in. Short inbounds pass to Ingles over a couple of defenders down low, doesn't fall. Donald with a rebound, there's 50 seconds remaining. Third game of the week for the Bulldogs, who moved up the Clay Center matchup from the 16th to the 6th. We get Tuesday, not off next week, I saw. Right baseline shot from 10 doesn't fall by Emma Fitzenmeyer. Bulldogs bring it down with a half minute left. Trailing by six. Just a pair of Bulldog field goals so far. Cap in the lane, far side to Dressman. Left baseline, 10 footer missed. Boards out to Fitzenmeyer with 11 seconds left. Weller. Near side, driving down low. Backdoor effort missed. Out of bounds with 1.1 second. Bulldogs will go the length of the court. Not a lot you can do right here. Inbounds to Raider. That's the buzzer. End of one. It's play setter 10. Haley Biff 10. Marysville 4. It's service you can always trust at Sink Gordon & Associates in Waterville and Marysville. Their experience in all matters of farm, business, and individual income tax planning and preparation, estates and trust, accounting and payroll services too. Call Chad Parker in Waterville at 363-2263 or Aaron Wright in Marysville at 562-3858. Sink Gordon & Associates, comprehensive and innovative accounting in Northeast Kansas since 1946. With text to order options, competitive daily pricing, and no wrap requirements, Kramer Oil has everything to make your next propane or fuel order a breeze. This is Chad Kramer. Our goal at Kramer Oil is to deliver dependable, reliable products to your home or business at the best value and with the best customer service around. Visit us online at KramerOil.com and see how we can serve you. The Kramer family, proudly serving your family since 1976. If you need a tractor that's small but mighty, Can Equip in Marysville has just the ticket. The Workmaster 25S subcompact tractor from New Holland. With 25 horsepower, a three-point hitch, rear PTO, and mid-PTO, it handles chores a garden tractor just can. Plus, this economical tractor gives you deluxe comfort and simple two-pedal operation that makes it easy to mow, load, dig, grade, and more. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville to learn more about the Workmaster 25S. Haley Bent was top scorer last time they met. She had 13 points. Regan McDonald in double figures with 11. Marysville's top scorer, Haley Ingalls, had six in the match. Haley Bent's got all 10 Clay Setter scores on four field goals. Half of those are three-point buckets. And Clay Setter leading Marysville 10-4. Mackenzie Weller missing a three. Out of bounds to the Tigers. Bulldogs would outscore them three quarters, but it was the fourth quarter and a 16-0 run. Gave Clay Setter the win by eight. Kathy Rush whistled for a foul. It's her first. On Haley Bent from the free throw line, bouncing high, misses off the heel of the rim. First free throw for either team here tonight. We're not quite a half minute into the second queue. 10 4 Tigers. Bent second free throw miss. Gets her own board out on the near side wing. And launches a three. Missed off the heel of the rim. Boards a reader. Bulldog basketball. Just a pair of field goals thus far. Inside corner, Bella Raider for three. Missed the iron. Right into the hands of Haley Bent. Going the distance, split defenders, count the basket. The layup's good for Bent, who is fouled. Just missed a pair of free throws. She gets another chance here. Found by Casey Rush. It's her second. Ren O'Neill. Checks back in. Dahlia Fry, sophomore, seeing her first action. Also in the lineup. Ben.
That's right back up the line. Free throw missed. Tangle between Dressman and McDonald on the rebound. Alternate possession belongs to MHS. Time out on the floor. Bulldogs, 7 4 to play first half. Play setter 12, Marysville 4. Are you done yet? I need to get ready. Well, maybe you should have gotten up sooner. You've been in there for an hour. Come on, I need in there. Does this happen at your home? Would you like to eliminate all the yelling and buy a bigger house? Well, you can by talking with United Bank and Trust about home loans. Go online to www.ubankonline.com or head to your local branch to visit with a loan officer. United Bank and Trust. You bank, we deliver. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Flooring choices with professional installation are available to complete a new look from start to finish for a single room or your entire home. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Haley Ingles, who's been under tremendous defensive pressure, had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Uh, Weller didn't put up much of a front, but enough that Ingles missed the shot, and Weller got the board, bringing a Tiger possession down the floor. They lead 12-4, 6.41 to play first half. Turnover for Clay Shatter, and a Bulldog turnover right back. Dressman midcourt. Oh, it was deflected, deflected. Bulldogs keep it midcourt. I didn't see the reach by Beth, but they did. Been a long dry spell since the last Bulldog basket. Play to Ingles coming underneath. Short shot won't fall. Kind of lost her confidence. Tiger basketball. Ben has all of their scoring, 12 points. She led scoring last time they met with 13. Got to keep her in check, right? Carson, far side. That's Haley Bent. To the corner, finding right. Turn around by Carson from the corner. To the free throw line. Traveled with the ball. Back in league play tonight. These teams number two and three behind Walmigo. Now, Marysville has just two league games left a week from tonight down at Chapman. And Wamigo comes in for the final home game of the regular season on the 21st. That's senior night. Steal by the Tigers midcourt. McDonald near side to Ben. Coming across the lane. Kicks it off to Weller far side. From the corner, Weller comes underneath. Puts it in the air. May have been deflected. She had to weave her defenders. It falls to the hands of Bella Raider. Two scores were ten and a half minutes in. Pass intended for Ingles knocked down. They persist in going to Ingles, but it's not working. And even when she's getting the ball, she's not getting the shots. Need I say try something else? Cross court Weller to Bent in the corner. Haley Bent coming around the defender is whistled for an offensive foul. I didn't see it, but that's the whistle. Caden Spurgeon back in the Bulldog lineup for Ingles. Trio, no four. Lady Tigers check in for Dalton Heist. When that far back, he played high school basketball here, was it? 42 years, they'll kind of run together. 12-4, Clay Setter, 4.45 and counting. Lindsey Dressman crashing the lane, takes it to the hoop for two. Uh, Dressman gets the Bulldogs' third field goal, and it's 12-6. We're in the middle of the second stanza. Near side bent, Raider guarding her. Crossing, goes far side to the corner. And his lip is new in the lineup. Off the near side to another new face, Janae Crimmins. 
Look in the lane, Mike Crimmins plays in the corner. To him. Top of the key, McCann. Haley Bent, three-point bucket, it's good! Her third trade tonight, and she has all 15 Tiger scores. 15-6. Long layup missing for Dahlia Fry. Had the right idea. 3.45 remains, first half. Near side, Crimmins out top. Play to the lane. Dressman reaching in, takes the ball away. Dressman at the other end. O'Neill out top to Raider. Dahlia Fry for three, bouncing over the glass. Tiger possession with a nine-point lead. Cap and Rush set to check in for MHS. They're going to let them. After a delay, the answer yes. Boys action to follow. Stay tuned at the halftime of the boys game. They have an extended halftime, I'm told. We've got the wrestling coach, Cole Fredrickson, as the Marysville girls go to regionals this weekend. Boys next weekend. Holding high, top of the key, Sarah Smith. Drive off the right baseline by Candace Lip. She was fouled. Comes to the line for two. The whistle on Caden Spurgeon is her first. Fourth team foul. Candace Lippy from the line missed. Tigers have missed all four free throw opportunities. Marysville hasn't been to the line. Not a lot of fouls here. Total of six. Marysville's got four of those. Miss off the front of the rim. Raider guarded by Lippin in the backcourt. Pass to the far wing. Knocked out of bounds. Albeit by hustling Madison McCann. Here's Regan McDonald. Starter back in the clay center lineup. Score remains 15-6. Rush near the lane. Near side to O'Neill. Finds Cap in traffic. Her shot missed. Lippe with a rebound. Dance on the far side. Back to Lippe. McCann near the lane. Turnings to shoot. Out the basket for Madison McCann. She was fouled. McCann is the second place at her Tigers scorer. Engels back in the lineup for Spurgeon. Checking out with her second foul. Oh, there was no basket. That was before the shot. Before the shot. 15-6 remains the score. And I'll take that score away from McCann then. Casey Rush picks up a third personal foul, bringing Lindsey Dressman back in. First two reserves for Ben Wurtenberger are on the bench with thoroughly foul trouble. Bent coming top of the key, takes it back on the near side, crossing the lane. Far side to Lippe doesn't fall. Offensive boards out to McCann. Right side down low, shot was up by Haley Bent. She was fouled. Lindsay Dressman picks up her first. And we are in the bonus. This is a two-shot opportunity, though, for Ben. No, it's a one-on-one? All right. One-on-one. Ben's missed three so far. This one's good. And still, Haley Bent has been the only scorer for the Tigers, now leading by 10. Make it 11. Haley Bent, 17. Marysville, 6. Full 
full court press, mid court to Dressman. Comes across far sideline. Dribble out to the corner. Raider, O'Neill coming near side to Cal. Back to Raider. And she's got a three. I was so accustomed to saying missed, I started to. Bella Raiders got the Bulldogs' fourth field goal, their first long ball here tonight. Still in this ball game, down eight, trailing 17-9. We've got a minute 35 left in the half. Far side bent. Coming past the defender was fouled. Maddie Cat picks up her first. Haley Bent back at the free throw line. Two for five tonight. Down to a minute 24 to play, first half. Bent among four senior starters for this club. Long look, this one's good. She's knocked down three in a row after she missed her first three. Bent on a second look. It's good. Haley Bent 19, Marysville 9. Raiders pass stolen away by Megan Wright. Double-digit Tiger lead. Car side Lippe to Bent. Way out front. McDonald near the free throw line. Around near side to Crimmins. Now far side to Ben. Cross-court pass to Crimmins. Whistle underneath. Foul away from the ball. Regan McDonald picks up her first. It's a third team foul, leaving 53 seconds. Breaking the press, mid-court to Dressman. Lindsay coming left-handed layup off the glass, doesn't fall. Reach in on a tie-up with Haley Bent. Belongs to the Tigers. Danny Carson starters back in for the orange and black. We've got 40 seconds to play. Tiger basketball, McDonald top of the key. Around far side to right. Clock under 20. McDonald free throw line shot was flat. Tigers, Madison McCann scoots underneath for the board. She was fouled. Comes to the line in the bonus. Bella Raiders first is Marysville's ninth team foul. Madison McCann to the free throw line. Sarah Smith, Janae Crimmins checking in before the free throw. 16 seconds, still halftime. Miss a line violation, doesn't matter either way. Bulldog basketball with just over 15 seconds. Full court pressure. Raider midcourt to Dressman. Clock under 10. Dressman takes it far sideline. Pass out top to Raider. Clock under 5. Far side Dressman between defenders. No whistle. No whistle. End of the quarter. I wasn't sure if they were going to send her to the line as the, as the buzzer sounded. No, they wave it off. End of the first half. The North Central Kansas League girls action. Haley Bent, 19, Marysville, 9. Tension in Marysville is a leading national manufacturer and marketer of custom envelope products. Great career opportunities include operations, sales, customer service, accounting, tech, and administrative support. Go online to tensioncorp.com for the careers tab for more details on currently available opportunities. And apply today with Tension Corporation in Marysville 
an equal opportunity employer. Tires aren't all the same, and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmsted and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmstedrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. Several all-new 2023s in stock at the Nordisk Motor Company include the Buick Envision Essence and Buick Envision Avenar. They have a 2023 Buick Enclave, 2023 Chevy Traverse, and Chevy Equinox. Test drive a new 2023 at the Nordisk Motor Company in Marysville today. Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington offers sales, template, and installation of countertops, including quartz, solid surface, and Corian. Visit chromielumber.com or stop in 609 Carolina in Marysville or 200 Ballard in Washington. For your next kitchen remodel project, see Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington. Tiger twirlers at halftime here tonight. Four uh, young ladies putting on a twirling performance. We don't see that all that often. 199, Haley Bent with 19, Marysville with 9. That's right. Clay Center has had a single score with all 19 points including three first-half trays and four of seven free throws. Marysville settling for four scores, meanwhile, scattered amongst four players. 19-9, our halftime outlook. Again, it's bent with all 19 for play center. They've missed a couple of free throw opportunities off the bench, going four of ten on nine Marysville foul whistles. Bella Reader had a three along the way. Haley Ingalls and Lindsey Dressman with deuces, along with Caden Spurgeon off the bench for two. Marysville had four points in the first, five in the second, first half total of nine. Trailing play center 19-9 at the intermission. Ah. If you're 50 or over, it may be time to switch your auto and home insurance. The AARP Auto and Home Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Discover rates, benefits, and service designed for AARP members, plus extra savings when you insure both your auto and home. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Or visit copelandinsurance.net. Certain policy features not available in all states. Applicants are individually underwritten. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. How about a great job that you can rely on with a stable company offering great benefits? Be a part of a diversified company manufacturing essential products, trailers, tillage equipment, and forklifts. Landall is hiring for assemblers, welders, and painters at the Marysville, Waterville, and Beloit locations. Again, offering stable employment, excellent wages and benefit package, and growth opportunities. $500 to $1,000 hiring bonus. Apply online today at landall.com or phone 562-5381 to learn more. RX Drug Store in downtown Marysville is here for you with over-the-counter medicines for cold, flu, and allergy season and prescription drugs for more serious matters. They also offer curbside pickup and delivery services. Don't forget to bring in your new insurance card for the new year with RX Drugstore. Make every job easier with one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber. For any project inside or out, if you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer, get the tools you need, including Milwaukee, DeWalt, Stanley, and more. Battery-operated tools offer the convenience and mobility with the power to get the job done quickly every time. Stocked with all the blades, bits, and accessories for your convenience as well. 
Check out the Power Tools selection today and get the work started on your schedule with Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. You work night and day to get the crop in. You worry about the weather. You worry about prices. You have repairs to deal with at the worst possible times. It's a lot of work and a lot of worry. But when it's all said and done, you wouldn't trade places with anyone. Making things grow is in your blood. It's in ours, too. We're a community ag bank. Citizen State Bank. Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Save money and get free stuff. Seriously, download the CJ Go app before you fill up next time and earn exclusive deals and rewards. Earn points with every fill up and redeem those points for dollars off your purchase. Download the CJ Go app and use it at all CJ Express locations. Join, shop, and save with CJ Express in Marysville and Frankfurt. Max Blasky's at Axtell tonight as the Eagles host the Washington County Tigers in Twin Valley League play. We'll check TBL and NCKL scores on the Farm Bureau Insurance Scoreboard Show. Twice game nights at a service of Rice Leonard in Washington and Patrick Beauty in Marysville. Around the NCKL, Omega girls lead Abilene 39-16 at the half. Here it's Clay Center 19, Marysville 9. Walmegos atop the NCKL, 15-1, undefeated in six league starts. Marysville will host them on the 21st in the regular season finale. Clay Setter's currently runner-up, 9-7, 4-2. Marysville, 5-12, 4-3. So if they could win, they'd be tied for runner-up to Omega in the league race. Chapman's 8-8, 3-4, then Concordia, 5-11, 2-5. Abilene's 2-13, 1-6. Concordia hosting Chapman tonight. I don't have an update on that one as yet. Boys action to follow tonight. An extended halftime show, I am advised. And we'll have Bulldog Wrestling Coach Cole Fredrickson as our guest. He was on the coach's corner earlier this evening. We'll have it during halftime of the boys matchup. Marysville girls wrestlers are in regionals this weekend. The boys next. Coming down to the finishing games of the regular season, Bulldogs with a Monday tip-off with Centralia, then idle on Tuesday this week. Uh, they are back on the road at Chapman Friday, a week from tonight, and come back home to host Walmigo ahead of sub-state competition, which will be hosted at Marysville, although the girls will be on the road in the first round as a lower seed team. 5-12, and 12, Marysville at 9-7, and seven. play center tonight. Tigers lead the Bulldogs 19-9. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express High. Highway, Marysville, today. At Galloway Uyghurs in Brenniger, we're about building relationships, one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no-obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page, or at gwblaw.net. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Three, two, one. Did the new year bring new devices in your home? You might want to increase your internet speed. If you up your speed this month, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months to kick off 2023. New Blue Valley internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. 
Bulldog basketball, a service of our King DY sports boosters and regional sports boosters tonight. Tell them thanks for their continued support. And we thank you for listening in. If you've missed any of our broadcasts, I think we're up to date with the archives. They're available for download or replay on our website under the sports tab. Bulldog missed by Haley Ingalls outside the arc. They tried to push it inside. She had no success early on. Missed a long ball here. The Bulldogs have struggled offensively with just four field goals so far tonight. Trailing play setter, 19-9. All play setter scores by Haley Bent, the senior, with 19 points. Play in the paint, nothing doing for Regan McDonald. Lane violation. Well, if it wasn't a lane violation, it was going to be a traveling call. She was in a pickle and knew it. Crowd still filing in. We're going to have a full house for the boys matchup. A lot of Marysville fans made the trek tonight. Lady Bulldogs trying to get on track after losses to Centralia Monday and Rock Creek on Tuesday. Pass near the lane. Results in a tie-up. Lindsey Dressman diving to the court. Marysville fell at Clay, or Centralia Monday, 47-37. Hosting Rock Creek dropped a 46-34 decision on Tuesday. It's been a season of ups and downs for first-year coach Ben Wurtenberger. Cross-court pass from Bent to Weller. Far side corner, finding right near the lane. Cross-court again to Haley Bent. Double-teamed on the baseline. She's forced out of bounds and is fouled. Nine Marysville team fouls in the first half. Clay Setter had four or five. Raiders. Bella Raider picks up her second. It's inbounds baseline for the Tigers. Who trailed last time they met 21-14 at the half, but they held Marysville to two points in the second half on a third quarter field goal. Outscored them 16-0 in the fourth. Clay Setter gets a 32-24 win. Top of the key three for Danny Carson is good. Carson connects, and it's the first score other than Haley Bent for Clay Center, leading by 13 now. Bella Raider fake. Pass near side, scoots away underneath Lindsey Dressman out of bounds. Bulldogs lost their first four, picked up a win at Concordia before the Christmas break. We're one and five coming into the break. Then one at Abilene, at Concordia. Played the really tough Wamigo team. Got hammered back in mid-January. Losses then going into the tournament. They finished one and two in the tournament. Lost those two games to Hiawatha. Did play in the championship. Down the stretch, though, it has been a struggle for these Lady Bulldogs. Their last win versus Abilene back on the third, 56-51. Time out on the floor. It's 22-16 Tigers when we come back. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Basketball weekend continues with Kansas and Kansas State on Saturday. We're back at it next Friday here with Marysville traveling down to Chapman now. Max and I both get Tuesday night off. That doesn't happen much in February. Pass to the lane. Stolen by Britt O'Neill. Bulldogs need a spark of life. Scattered just four field goals in the first half. We're over two minutes into the second half here. Pass deflected out of bounds for our sideline. Madison McCann, Candace Lippy check in the Clay Sutter lineup. Starting four seniors, Dalton Heist has a lot of underclassmen on the bench we've, we've seen tonight. Dressman near the lane, cross court to Cap. Near side angles, out front to Raider. 
Cap off the near side, double team. Has trouble on a reach in. Wells gets a jump ball whistle. Fitz and Meyer checks in for the orange and black. Bulldog basketball. Raider near side, Cap. Off the wing to Dressman. Cross court pass. Tracked down by Raider on the far sideline where she shoots. 4-3. Bella Raider second score. Both are long balls. And it's 22-12. For as slow as this Marysville offense has moved along tonight, they're still only down 10 points. A lot of time left. Get a couple of unanswered scores. You're back in single digits. Play in the lane. Steal by Haley Ingles. Near side to Cap. Ingles down low. Just guarded by one defender this time and shoots over that defender. Haley Ingles, second score. It's 22-14. Four and a half and counting. Cross court and down to the near side corner. Tigers back out top. McDonald pitches far side to Fitzenmeyer. Lob to McDonald down low. She's guarded by Ingles. Traveling whistle. Tiger turnover. Starter Danny Carson's back in. Four ten to go. Third quarter. Clay Setter twenty two. Marysville fourteen. Dressman far side, cap out of the corner. Dribbles once, Raider comes across the lane. Dressman left side, guarded shots up and good for Lindsey Dressman, second score. And the Bulldogs are within six as Dalton Ice takes timeout. 348 play in the third. Freeman Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Farmers, they're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. Patrick Booty and Bryce Leonard co-sponsor the Farm Bureau Insurance School Board Show. Twice game nights on Key and DY. Well, Marysville's come storming back down 19-9 at the half. They trail by six. It's 22-16. 3.40 left in the third quarter. Haley Bent near side for three, missing. Tipped out of bounds to MHS. 7 3 run for Marysville in the second half. And Haley Bent, who had 19 in the first half, hasn't scored. Ingles cross court to O'Neill. On the dribble, cross court to Dressman. Cap was passing to Raider near the side. It was knocked out of bounds by Megan Wright. Right in front of the Bulldog bench. 5 and 12, Marysville. Play setter 9 and 7. Teams are 2 3 in the league race. Backdoor layup's good for Lindsay Dressman. She's got six points, and it's a four point ball game. Was double digits. Now the Tigers are up four. Reach in by Dressman. Foul whistle. McCann back in the Tiger lineup. 
Takes the inbounds pass. Holds it high, top of the key. Crossing the lane. Right. Out front to Bent, missing a three. Dressman fights hard to grab the rebound for the Bulldogs. With a chance to cut this lead to two. Raider needs help mid-court. Ingles comes out to do that. Dressman far side to O'Neal. Raider fake out of the corner. Outside the cap. Double team pressure on Matty Cap. Reach in foul. Haley Bent, Megan Wright were there. Wright's got her first personal. Bulldogs facing man-to-man D. Raider near side. Bounce pass to Ingles near the free throw line. Turning, turning. Finds Dressman underneath. Looking for Maddie Cap. And the ball knocked out of bounds and she was fouled. Haley Bent, her second. Well, they say it's her first. Her first, second team foul. Treble on the inbounds pass, overstep baseline. Tigers by four with the ball. And there's 2.10 left. Weller cross court to right. Drives in a step. Bent off the far side wing. Cross court Weller to right in the corner. Whistle stopping play. Lindsey Dressman picks up a third personal foul. Three team fouls. Keith Rush going to try to check in for Dressman. Late third quarter. Home team is inbound to Carson for three out top missing. Fights to get her own rebound near the free throw line. Tigers keep it in play. Pausing from a couple words from the coach. Here's Madison McCann splitting defenders. She is fouled on the shot. Maddie Cat picks up her second. Fourth team foul brings McCann to the line. Two-shot opportunity, her first trip to the line. It's good. Aiden Spurgeon's in the Bulldog lineup for Rush. And McCann at the line. Stretches the lead back to six. McCann, two for two. Fitz and Myers in the Tiger lineup. It's 24-18 with a minute 35 left. Trouble on the inbounds pass. It kind of dribbled out of the hands of Caden Spurgeon. She knew she couldn't touch it or she'd get the whistle. Her teammates couldn't get back there in time. Tough turnover. Inbounds to Bent underneath and she's got 21. Her first second half score tonight. Tigers by eight. Bryn O'Neill, far side to Spurgeon. Raider, top of the key. Dribbles once she was fouled by Emma Fitzenmeyer. It's her first. Third team foul. Raider finds angles between defenders near the lane. She was fouled. Madison McCann picks up her first. Team fouls are now even at four apiece. Still 1-11. We're in the third quarter yet. It's been kind of a slow crawl. Raider near the free throw line shot blocked partially by Megan Wright. And they say it's off right. Yeah, that'd be correct. Out of bounds. You are right. It was off right. Bella Raider backs it out top. 
guarded man to man. Far side cap. Raider for three. It's good. Bella Raiders third tray. And it's 26 21. Couple of second half trays for Raider. Marysville's outscored their opponent 12 7. Collision underneath. An offensive foul. This is Madison McCann, the second. There's Lindsey Dressman, Casey Rush back in the Bulldog lineup. Dressman was out on three fouls. She'll TV inbound pass. Full court press. Dressman crossing to O'Neill. Pass to Spurgeon got away. McCann with the loose ball. Under a half minute, Tigers can play it out if they choose. Double-digit play center leads down to five, though, and was four points a moment ago. A couple more play center substitutions coming in. Coaches these days do a lot more substituting than they used to. I'm convinced. Who'd I give up on? Rock Creek, Tuesday night. I said, I'm just, I'm just not going to mention them anymore. There are, there are too many. There are too many. Clock under 10. That is far side with a bounce pass tip off the Bulldogs out of bounds. Leaving 7.7 seconds. Tigers, their own baseline. In the paint. Shots up and good. Reagan McDonald serves second score. Raider past half court launches well, short of the buzzer, marking the end of three. Clay Center 28, Marysville 21. Ah. Legacy Carpet Cleaning will give your floors a fresh as new look. Let their team of dedicated professionals tackle your carpet or tile cleaning. Your home feels fresh, looks great, and makes a more healthy environment for you and your family. Call Skyler Price today for an appointment and let Legacy Carpet Cleaning in Marysville go to work for you. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high-quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's JD Construction. Are you done yet? I need to get ready. Well, maybe you should have gotten up sooner. You've been in there for an hour. Come on, I need in there. Does this happen at your home? Would you like to eliminate all the yelling and buy a bigger house? Well, you can by talking with United Bank and Trust about home loans. Go online to www.ubankonline.com or head to your local branch to visit with a loan officer. United Bank and Trust. You bank, we deliver. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. At the half, Omega leading Abilene girls 39-16. No update on Concordia and Chapman. Here it's Clay Setter 28, Marysville 21. Bulldogs fought back out, scoring the Tigers 12-9. As importantly as anything, holding Haley Bent to a single score in the third quarter. She had all 19 first half points and leads all scorers with 21 at the moment. So Haley Bent is, is still tied with Marysville, but the Bulldogs have cut a double digit lead down to as close as four points. Weller near side, just underway, fourth quarter. McDonald guarded by Spurgeon underneath. O'Neill picks up the loose ball. Here's Raider and O'Neill out front. Near side Dressman. Lindsay underneath, backdoor look. In the lane to... She was going to Bryn O'Neill, who was fouled on the shot. By Megan Wright, it's her second. Fouls are a lot more even here in the in the second half. Marysville had roughly twice as many in the first half. 
Brent O'Neill to the free throw line. First trip to the line for the Bulldogs tonight. With 7.19 to go. First shot's up and good. And a second look for Brynn. Missed off the front of the rim. Out of bounds to the Tigers. Haley Ingles checks back in. Well, the foul situation, Dressman and Rush with three each for Marysville. It's 28-22, play center. Kent pass near side to right. Stolen by Lindsey Dressman. Bulldogs take it away. Here's Raider across midcourt. Far side O'Neill. Raider between the rings. O'Neill right wing. Play underneath to a wide open Haley Ingalls for the score. They have not been able to say wide open and Ingalls in the same sentence for a long time. We're back to a four point margin with 6.35 to play. Steal by Lindsey Dressman. Ahead of two defenders. The layup is good. Dressman converts the steal and the Bulldogs are within two. Dalton Heist throwing timeout with 6.28 remaining. It's 28-26 Tigers. Freeze CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Freeze, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Freeze CPA, downtown Marysville. If you need a tractor that's small but mighty, Can Equip in Marysville has just the ticket. The Workmaster 25S subcompact tractor from New Holland. With 25 horsepower, a three-point hitch, rear PTO, and mid-PTO, it handles chores a garden tractor just can. Plus, this economical tractor gives you deluxe comfort and simple two-pedal operation that makes it easy to mow, load, dig, grade, and more. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville to learn more about the Workmaster 25S. Bulldogs showing signs of life, trailing 10-4 into the first, down 10 at the half. Marysville's back within two, 28-26. Three-point bucket for the Tigers, and I looked away. It goes 31-26. Dressman out top, Spurgeon near the lane, had the ball taken away. Team effort on a tip and the takeaway. A little trouble churning out at the other end by Fitzenmeyer. Here's a cross court to Weller for three. It's good for Mackenzie Weller. And as quickly as Marysville closed the gap to two, it's back to a, an eight-point affair. 525 left. Bella Raider along three. It's good. Teams trading the long ball. That's Raider with four scores, all are three-point buckets. Now 34-29. Dent goes far side. Dressen knocks it down. They go back-to-back -back on a tie-up. They're both seated on the court. Bulldog possession. Still plenty of time left in this one. They can keep the tempo going they've had in the second half. Managing only four field goals did Marysville in the first half. Dressman to the lane. Engels off near side. O'Neill missing from the arc. Follow underneath doesn't go for Lindsay Dressman. She was fouled. Danny Carson the second. Four Clay Center players with two fouls each. It's team foul number seven. Dressman on a miss. Reagan McDonald, Candace Lippy in the Clay Center lineup. As Dressman awaits a second look. High arch, it's good. 
Tigers by four with the ball. Lippy near side to Vent. And on the far side they work to Fitzenmeyer. Back to Bent on the near wing. Pass came into Madison again. She was fouled. Candace Spurgeon's third. Spurgeon, Dressman, and Rush have three fouls each. Spurgeon comes out. Four and a half to go. Tigers by four with the ball. Both teams with the bonus on the next whistles. Near side, Lippy. Crossing the lane. Split defenders. Lost her dribble, but she was fouled. Tough luck. Call for the Bulldogs came from the other side. Brent O'Neill's first. In the one and one is Candace Lippy. How did that become a two shot opportunity? And they just asked him to score a span shot. I think it should have been a one on one. Gets a second try on the first miss. It's good. Tigers by five. Pass across the lane, almost taken away. Nice save by Ingles to Dressman. Lindsay on a long hook on the near side miss. It's out to Reagan McDonald with just over four minutes left. Bent, cross court to Fitzenmeyer. Lippy from the corner. Splitting defenders, picks up a foul whistle. Coming from the near side, this is a one-on-one. -on -one. Bella Raiders third. Raider, Dressman, Spurgeon, Rush. All three fouls each. And it's Lippy back at the line. Just hit one of two. Front of the one and one is good. Clay Sutter slowly stretching that lead back out. After Marisvella cut it to two. Lippy again. It's good. Three of six at the line. Tigers lead by seven. 350 remains. Lindsay Dressman, long layup. KNDY. She was fouled, and they count the basket. Fouled by Dent. That is her second. Dressman with the score has. 11 points, and the free throw off the glass missed. Clay Center 37, Marysville 32, with 3.39 to play. Full court press for the Bulldogs. Lippe down the floor, two on one. Feeds Madison McCann for the layup underneath. McCann's first score. Played well to break the press there. Tigers by seven. Here's O'Neill driving. Splits defenders for the layoff. And Brent O'Neill's got seven all in the first second half. Timeout Marysville with 316 to play. Play center leading 39-34. Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you saved money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance as you. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind you have you covered. Please come see the girls on Broadway at Alliance Insurance, 785-562-2393. Valentine's Day is all about love, but not just romantic love. It's the perfect opportunity to shower your family, friends, and children with sweet notes and gifts to remind them of just how much they mean to you. And Reflections is here to help. 
From funny and sentimental cards to delicious gourmet chocolates and candies, adorable Valentine's Day plush, and more, you're guaranteed to find something they'll love. Make Reflections Hallmark your Valentine's Day shopping destination. Located at 901 Broadway in downtown Marysville, Kansas. Tigers by five with the ball. Three minutes remain. It's 39-34. Reach in foul across the way. Kyle's really stacking up. That's 16, even between the two. Now, this will be 17. Dressman picks up number four. As McCann comes back to the line, she's two for two. It's good. Earns the bonus. Tigers by six. Have led by as many as 14. Marysville cut the lead to two. Here in the second half. Second free throw is good. Now a seven point affair. And for Marysville, you have to look back at that first half. Outscored by six in the first quarter, four in the second. We're down 10 at the half. They trail by seven here. Raider off the near side. Open three, off the glass, follow shots, good for Bryn O'Neal. O'Neal underneath, she's got nine all in the second half. It's 41-36 with 2.20 left. Tiger basketball, Bulldogs follow with man-to-man D. McDonald near the free throw line, out top to Ben. Haley bent 19 in the first half, a single score in the second. Now McDonald again, turning, looking, looking inside the lane. She's got that ball an awful long time. And they do call the turnover. McDonald was looking over her shoulder trying to find something in the lane. The 5'11 sophomore then found herself without an outlet. Here's Marysville down five. Mid-court Dressman had the ball knocked away. Tip to Danny Carson. Tiger possession with a minute 45. Bent. Timeout. Timeout. Play setter with a minute 40 left. Tigers lead the Bulldogs 41-36. When it comes to serving the financial needs of this area, we have the home court advantage. This is our home. We know the area. We know the local economy. Bank with us. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. A minute 40 remains, 41-36 play setter. Tigers took the timeout. No doubt they'll try to work the clock. Next foul, whistle puts Clay Center in the double bonus. Dressman has four, Raider, Spurgeon, and Rush have three fouls each for Marysville. So you got to be careful out there. Deep in the forecourt, Lippy. Bounce pass, finds McCann. Dribbles twice, plays to Bent. Out at center court. Trying to play keep away. Haley Bent to the lane, underhanded layup, gets the foul whistle. That was her goal. At the line for two. Fouled by Haley Ingles, it's her second. Team foul number 10 brings Haley Bent to the line, where she was four of seven in the first half. Free throws good. 22 points for Bent. 19 of those in the first half. 
Got a minute 22 left. Free throw miss. Cap with a rebound. Bulldogs need to strike quickly. Couple trays with Tyus. Dressman forced out of bounds far sideline. She's at the line in the one on one. Damp picks up her third. Three for Bant. Megan Wright checks in. Dressman at the line in the bonus with a minute 12 remaining. Lindsay's one for three. Missing. Scooting in for the rebound. Good hustle by Candace Lippy. Tiger basketball. Yeah, started by O'Neill, far corner. To the four court with under 60 left. Defense doing their best to swipe that ball away or get a tie-up whistle. Tigers in the double bonus. 45 seconds on a reach-in for Matty Cap. It's going to be her third. Stopping the clock with 44 and a half seconds. Here's Candace Lippy up the line. Hit her last three. She's three for six. Two free throws to stretch a six-point lead. And it's a three-possession ball game on the first hit. Lippy second free throw. She's got five in a row. Sarah Smith in for the Tigers, leading 44-36. Gallant comeback effort for Ben Wurtenberger's team, but I think there's too much water under the bridge in the first half. Here's Raider, far side to O'Neill. Back to Raider on the far wing. Now O'Neill, two Ingles underneath. Turnaround shots good for two by Haley Ingles. Timeout Bulldogs with 28 and a half seconds left. It's 44-38, Clay Center. Napa filter days at Enon's Automotive run through February 18th. Take advantage now of their large selection of farm filters. Also hydraulic hoses, bearings, and all of your agricultural needs. Farm filter days at your Napa parts store. Enon's Automotive in Marysville run through February 18th. Double-digit pay raises are history. Now money's a lot harder to get a hold of and even harder to hang on to. That's why State Farm Agent John Bannister would like to offer you a free discount double check. He'll go through your car insurance policy to make sure you're getting the discounts you deserve. Discounts may vary from state to state. See John Bannister, State Farm Agent, 1022 Broadway in Marysville. Amigo handled Abilene 74-25. Chapman took Concordia 48-35. Marysville meets Chapman a week from tonight. On the road, and we'll host Wamigo on the 21st. As it stands here, if Play Center wins tonight, they'll be runner up to Wamigo, still undefeated in the NCKL. Marysville would be third in the league. Launch past half court to Haley Bent, ahead of Lindsey Dresden on the layup. That's how you beat the press. Bent with a score. It's 46 38, now under 20 seconds. And a steal for Danny Carson, who is fouled, stopping the clock with just over 14 seconds left. Matty Cap picks up her fourth. In the double bonus, Carson to the line, first time tonight. Will shoot two. Bounce off the front of the rim, doesn't fall. Eight point ball game. Carson miss. Cap with the rebound. Raider long pass, got away from Dressman. Dressman on a reach in with McCann, jump ball with seven seconds left. The Tigers gonna hang on here at home to improve to 10 and seven. Well, Marysville will fall to 5-13. and 13. Lost to them the last time they met. Tigers won 
with a strong second half that time. Marysville led by seven at the half. Tonight they trailed by ten at the half. So just a complete flip-flop. Powell stops the clock with five seconds in the game that won't end now. Carson's back at the line, just missed two on Haley Ingalls' third. This one's good. Got Carson in the books. It's her first score tonight. One of four senior starters for this team. Coming off a 16-7 and seven mark last year. Second shot miss. Raider down the floor to Dressman. Double teamed on the long layup. Missing. Our final tonight. Play setter 47. Marysville 38. When you roller send for Schroeder. For complete body repair, see Jeff at Schroeder Collision Center, a family business for several generations. Let Jeff and his quality crew help you with your auto needs. Schroeder Collision Center, 701 Carolina, 562-3546. KK Firm Bussing, certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca, are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kike for Kent Bussing or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact KK Firm Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562-2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336-2400 to set up an appointment. KK Firm Bussing, where quality begins. Tigers take a second meeting between these two teams. Our final tonight, 47-38. Tale was told early on when it was 10-4 in the first quarter, 19-9 at the half. Marysville came as close as two points in the second half, but it was too little too late. As Clay Center was led by Haley Bent with 24 points, 19 of those in the first half. She had all 19 Clay Center scores before intermission. Um, after that, it really dropped off. Reagan McDonald with five. Mackenzie Weller had a second half three. Danny Carson, a late free throw. Off the bench, Candace Lippy five of seven free throws. Madison McCann scores four. And uh, Servant Martin has two points. As Clay Center improves to 10 and seven, five and two, runner up to Omega in the league. Marysville led by Della Raider with 12 points, scattered four trays, three of those in the second half. Lindsey Dressman had 11 points, nine of those in the second half. Bryn O'Neill had nine points, all in the second half. Maddie Cap with four. And off the bench, Caden Spurgeon has two. Marysville falls to five and 13, four and four. At Clay Center, the Tigers win 47-38 tonight. Boys warming up, tip off uh, about 15 minutes away. We'll have it after a brief timeout for news and weather on KNDY. 